Salesforce released the ability to report on permission sets and permission set licenses. Uh, one of the first things we're going to have to do is create a custom report type to do that. So uh, I'm quickly going to show that in the setup menu. So if I come over here to setup and I search for report types, go ahead and ignore this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new custom report type. I'm going to do this very quick, but if you need a more detailed um, video, I will link that video. So I'm going to create um, a report here that says permission set assignments. Sets. sets. Uh, I'm just going to store this in my administrative reports. I'm going to go ahead and deploy this. And I'm going to say test permission set for time. All right. So now that I have my permission set assignment um, report created, a report type created, I'm going to come over here to edit. Uh, I'm going to make sure my uh, layout looks good. I have all the fields that I need, but um, I'm not going to show that in this video. So let's come back to um, our sales console and let's go ahead and make our new report. So in my search, I'm going to say permission sets. So here's my new custom report type. Let me go ahead and start it. Cool. Um, let's add some columns. Awesome. There's not going to be many assignments here because it's my uh, dev org, but uh, here's a report on permission set assignments. So you can see the permission set name, uh, the assignment ID, who uh, the user is that it's assigned to. And if there's a permission set group, uh, you would see that ID too. So pretty cool. It's a little easier to manage per permission sets using this, or at least the assignments. Uh, I know uh, I would have loved to have this feature in the past.